Hi guys, welcome back. We are in chapter 11 of The Sims Stories. Um, this is The Sims Life Stories with The Life of Riley. So I'm just going to pass the game for a second. It's getting really hard to explain what's happened in previous chapters. This is a story-based game, you guys. This isn't your typical Sims game. Um, it is an older game. It's retro. It's from 2007. This was The Sims Life Stories. It was a standalone story-based game. So anyway, when it started, our Sim Riley, who is the redhead, lost her job. She's living in the city. She moved in to Four Corners, which is where we are now, with her Aunt Sharon. And this is Aunt Sharon right here. Now, within five minutes of moving into the house, Aunt Sharon left in a taxi cab to do some banking. She never returned. The next day, we got a very cryptic email from Aunt Sharon saying she had to help friends and that we should make ourselves at home. Um, but she'll return later. So we never saw or heard from Aunt Sharon again until last chapter. And then all of a sudden, Dylan showed up at the house in a rage, saying, Riley, what have you done? You've cost me everything. He started knocking over the garbage. Then the police showed up with Aunt Sharon. Aunt Sharon ran to the car. This was the best chapter yet. So if you only watch one chapter, watch the chapter that came before this one. And, um, and Sharon said, Dylan made me take out, he convinced me to take out a life insurance policy, and then he trapped me in my basement. I wouldn't sign over the policy to him, so he tried to marry you. If you decided to marry him, he was going to kill us both to collect the life insurance. Thankfully, the police fought Dylan, cut after him, put him back in the squad car, and drove away. So that is, we are all caught up now, you guys. So now she's playing with her aunt, trying to catch up. So let's do a joke. Let's do it, Meyer. Let's do a friendly hug. Uh huh. And let's show interest and let's gossip. Oh, I forgot. We have to call. We have to call. Um, what's your name? Fiona. We have to call Fiona because. Nikki is going to marry Agora, and Agora was the accomplice of Dylan, so we have to stop that wedding. <laughs> so let's do that right now. Here's Fiona. Let's just talk. It's taking place right now at Old Grove Gardens, right next to the park. I'm here, but you better hurry if you hope to stop her. I have to get to Old Grove Gardens and tell Mickey what's going on. Let's call a taxi. We have to stop that wedding. But first, let's use the washroom. And the camera has gone to slow motion again. my gosh. The other toilet's broken and our aunt is in this bathroom. We want to go to Old Grove 
Oh no. Old Grove Park or Old Grove Park Gardens? I can't remember. Old Grove Gardens. Good thing I canceled it. I was going to see Old Grove Park. Old Grove Gardens. Gardens. So you know what? We're gonna have to cancel that taxi because she needs she's gonna fall asleep. Riley needs to drink coffee in a major way. I don't know how long the taxi will wait. Okay, we're going to just wait until she finishes this coffee. I didn't realize she was so tired. I need to get her energy up at least a little bit before we leave or she'll fall asleep on her feet. And we won't get anything done. Okay, that's half energy. That's good. So let's do this for the third time. And... This time we'll actually do it. We'll call our taxi. Finish your coffee, Riley. Hurry up. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, no, now she's going to guzzle it. I told her stop, and she just guzzled it. Hopefully Aunt Sharon will clean up while we're out. You know you can wash the dishes in the sink. Old Grove Gardens. Riley's actually using the sink for the first time to wash a dish. All right, let's head out to the Old Grove Gardens and stop that wedding. Well, we're not exactly dressed for a wedding, are we? <laughs> well, we are dressed perfectly to stop one. It looks like Aunt Sharon was cleaning up. Here we are. Viva. Let's call him over. There's Agora. Let's see what Mickey has to say about her little side job. Oh, 
Okay. We called him over and he walked away from the wedding <laughs> to talk to us. That is so freaking awesome. Okay. I don't know how to tell him. Influence to Nina. Fight with Agora. Can we influence him to fight with Agora at his very wedding to Agora? Oh my god, we can't! <laughs> oh my god, we influenced him to fight with his bride! God, that is just the funniest thing ever. Check it out, you guys. Oh, but she beat him. What if we do a, a well? I don't know how to. I don't know what to do other than. Maybe we have to do chat. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, good. Those two fell out. And that's the entire story. Agora, okay, I have to pause it before it disappears. Agora, is this true? Did you really kidnap Riley's aunt with Dylan in an elaborate insurance scheme and then plan to marry me as personal revenge against her? Did you really, Agora? Awesome. <laughs> Wow. 
I did it for us, Mickey. I wanted to marry you with all my heart and share the money with you. However, she made you push me aside, but I really love you. Don't even talk to me. This is over. Oh my god, look at look at their faces. All right, so why isn't it I I get go and it stops instead. Sorry guys. The controls are sticking for some reason. <laughs> Wow, you, you ruined everything! Can we do a romantic kiss with him? Oh no, we're having a fight! Look at our, we're minus 100 with Agora right now. Agora should have been arrested too if she was in on in on that uh, scheme to kidnap our aunt and kill us. Bye, Agora. Oh, good, the police are coming. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I gotta pause this again. Agora. Riley's just sitting down to enjoy the show. And there they go. That is hysterical. Not at all. Bye, Agora. Good riddance. Mm -hmm. 
I love the way Riley just sat down. <laughs> Miss Harlow, okay, I'm gonna pause it before it disappears. You've been most helpful in this investigation. Miss Chachki will not be harming you or your family anymore. Please take this reward as a token of our thanks. Wow, we have $7,893 now. And we are just talking with Fiona. I guess this is Ashley's father wearing things there. Our relationship with Fiona is going up. Okay, I gotta pause it so I can read it before it goes away. Oh, it didn't pause. Shoot, I missed it. Sorry, you guys. My, I'm clicking on everything, but it's just not working. Oh, Ricky's proposing to Riley. Riley, I love you with all my heart. I know how foolish I was to let you go, and I promise to never do so again. Won't you marry me right here and right now? <laughs> okay. Let's get married. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. Can we change? We're going to get married in our ugly outfit? Is there anywhere to change? No, there's not. We have to get married wearing this top. <laughs> Can we go home and change? I guess not. All right, let's just get married. Oh, she changed into her formal wear on her own. Oh, that's not exactly a good formal wear for a wedding, but oh well. It's better than the top and the jeans she had on. Riley and Mickey are getting married. Why didn't they get married? Come on, get married. Yeah. Marry him right now? Sounds kind of sudden, but I am a girl that flies by the seat of her pants. We'll have to go to the wedding arch first, though. Here we go. Oh, that's so cute! Look at the blossom! Aww. Mickey just joined the family and brought $43,494! Woohoo, Mickey! Can we buy our own house now? Why can't we just move into Mickey's house? Okay, congratulations, Riley. I always knew Dylan wasn't the guy for you. 
Here's a gift from us to you both. Make sure to invite us over when you use it, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> what did you give us? I don't think I can look at it till I get home. Riley, let's get out of here. I hope you like this from Canyon Island. Oh, I guess we're going on a honeymoon. Whoa! Look at the limousine that came. Well, wasn't that the end of the chapter? We're going on our honeymoon, I guess. Now, I wonder if it will bring us to the honeymoon or just load us back into the house and we'll pretend we have gone on our honeymoon. Uh, just brought us home. One week later, the first thing we did after landing was drop off our luggage at the hotel and hit the beach. I finally got to wear the really cute shirt I made with that coconut and the dental floss without feeling all weird about it. The only problem was that it seemed to attract birds and insects, but at least we got a lot of beautiful pictures. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Riley broke up Mickey and Agora's wedding, and then she married him instead, and they had an amazing honeymoon. Let's see what happens after the honeymoon. Thanks for watching. Bye!